Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. This is kind of a random video that I forgot that I was eventually going to make. If you've seen on some of the previous videos, we did quite a few things to my Dodge Ram that I bought like a month and a half, almost two months ago now. Did like headlights, tail lights, third brake light, blacked out all the emblems, blacked out the wheels, painted the calipers, you know, all the kind of stuff that you do when you buy a new truck. I said I wasn't gonna do anything performance wise with this truck and everybody kept telling me about the pedal commander and all of the good that it does and it takes the lag out and everything. Well, it was like $400, I think, even on sale, it was like $300. And everybody was telling me that there was kind of uh, not really a generic version of it, but I guess another option that is a little bit cheaper but does the same thing called the nine drive uh, it was found on ebay and amazon and everything this was like anywhere between 60 and 85 dollars on ebay and amazon i think it was a little more on amazon because it shipped from like a united states seller well i actually submitted like a best offer on one of them and they actually accepted it for 50 dollars. so i ended up getting the nine drive it is a ka807 part number for the dodge ram at least for the fourth gens i think this works on some jeeps as well but ended up like i said 50 dollars. i actually forgot that i ordered it just because it did take a little while to get here i think it took um about a month actually to get here so if you ordered off ebay and it is not a u.s seller um and even some US sellers, they still ship from China. It's probably gonna take like a month. Anyway, this thing's pretty straightforward from what I understand. So when you open up this package, it is literally tiny. Like this O'Reilly's gift card is the size of a normal credit card. And this shows you how small this actually is. For some reason, I thought that it was gonna be about the size of this. So anyway, you take it out of there. And as you can see, it uses the iPhone lightning cable and it does come with double-sided tape on it. But the iPhone lightning cable is literally about a third of the size of this thing. So that'll kind of put it in perspective, kind of how small it is. What it comes with, you comes with three zip ties and it comes with the module itself. This just kind of piggybacks in up under your throttle where your throttle plugs in you literally just unplug it and this plugs into both sides of it it has a lightning cable coming out of it like i said it is the iphone lightning cable and you can kind of mount it anywhere i'm going to mount it right here beside of the steering column on this little flat piece it seems the most convenient and it'll kind of be out of the way and i can adjust it when i need to so i'm not going to show you the installation of this there's plenty of installation videos on youtube and literally it's as easy as finding the cable that's going to your throttle, unplugging it, and plugging in the appropriate ends. So the tape that is supplied on the back of these things is, well, not very good. So luckily I had some 3M, so I ran two strips across it. I cleaned this with wax and tar remover because I think that that was a big problem with the other tape was that maybe some of the interior detailer got on it. But it is now there, and I have not zip tied this on the other underside yet. I'm going to plug this in, and there we go. It is fully installed now. So I'm going to clean up my little mess here, and I'm actually going to take this thing for a ride and try to learn it as I'm showing you got so hopefully this thing does what it says and it takes the lag out of the throttle on this truck which is one of my biggest complaints so guys i only have it in like mode one on the lowest setting and there is already a noticeable difference in taking the throttle lag out of this now it's not really a placebo effect because i drive this truck a lot so i understand like how it works and as far as how it accelerates but this is no faster than stock but it is quicker than stock, if that makes any sense. So I am going to bump it up to the highest setting on the lowest mode and see what it performs like in this mode. Yeah, there's, there's definitely a noticeable increase in acceleration. In this first mode, I mean, it's not crazy. I could see getting used to about 1.9 for like daily driver duties. It's not too crazy. It doesn't act like it wants to try to break the rear tires loose or anything like they said some of the higher modes do. But I'm gonna bump it up into 2.1 and see how it feels. As far as switching modes, it's pretty easy. Literally, you just hit the mode button and it clicks it up into the next highest mode. You got the third power mode, which is the third most, I guess, powerful. And then you have eco mode as well. I think that this uh, is supposed to improve your fuel economy. I'm not sure exactly how true that is. So we will jump up to 2.1, which is second mode on the weakest level. Okay, so there is a noticeable um, 
increase in throttle response definitely from 1.9 to even 2.1 and everybody said that they daily there's on the fourth gen ram forums like at 2.9 i'm not i haven't tried that yet so i don't really know so far is this thing worth 50 dollars in the limited time that i've drove with it absolutely it makes the truck definitely more fun from a stop it accelerates so much faster so i'm going to pull off up here slap it in 2.9 mode and then we're going to go to 3.1 and then we're going to set it on the highest setting and see <laughs> kind of what it does okay so let's bump this up all the way to 2.9 not exactly sure if you can adjust these modes on the fly or not i'll have to research that do your own research on this thing i'm just kind of giving you my live updates of how this thing's kind of treating me as i learn it but this is going to be 2.9 so Okay, so 2.9 is definitely, definitely pulls harder than what 2.1 did, and obviously pulls definitely harder than what any of the one settings did. Like I said, I don't think this is gonna make your truck overall faster, but it is definitely gonna make your truck quicker, and I'm not sure how that's gonna affect towing, but I, I would assume that it would help, especially from like accelerating from a stoplight or anything like that. Let me see if this thing works from kind of a roll. Yes, yes it definitely does. So I'm gonna pull off right here. We're gonna go up into mode three, lowest setting, and then try it again. So we will click this up one and down to the lowest. Now I'm not sure exactly what the modes themselves do. I think it's like normal, sport, and then sport plus is I think what Pedal Commander labeled them. So I assume that this is somewhat similar to the settings that are on the Pedal Commander that's on this nine drive unit. Oh, okay. So the third setting is you have no lag whatsoever. When you touch the throttle, you are moving. Not gonna lie, that one kind of caught me off guard because the Sport Plus setting, even in the lowest, um, it does, yeah, I can see how everybody says that it will spin the tires. It definitely takes that lag out. If you've got a Fortune Ram, I'm sure that you all have probably complained at some point that it has a laggy throttle because it does. That's just part of it, I guess. And this, this definitely helps that. I think this will make the truck a little bit more enjoyable to drive and for 50 bucks I mean it's not like that bad of a deal so I'm gonna pull off up here and we're just gonna crank it all the way up and see what it does oh okay okay <laughs> okay so 3.9 is the fun mode I don't know if you heard it, but it did try to spin the tires until traction control caught it. And that was not even full throttle. That was just kind of a decent amount of throttle. And <laughs> that that's pretty incredible. I'm not gonna lie. So, <laughs> so is this little thing worth $50? Yes, just for that three nine mode is worth $50 because I've never felt this truck pull like it just did so i can imagine if you had a trailer or something like that and you were accelerating especially from like an uphill stoplight that it is going to help you so i i can't say anything for the pedal commander because this isn't a pedal commander i assume that it does kind of the same thing so i don't think you're going to go wrong with either of these units um I, knowing what i know now as fun as this is and as good as what it does I would have probably paid, you know, the three, four hundred dollars for the pedal commander, but I'm glad I only paid fifty dollars for the non-drive unit off of eBay. Like I said, if you buy it off eBay, you're probably going to be waiting for a month or more. But it's this is well worth it. So, and no, 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 no. I want to make this clear: this is not a sponsored video. I will put my invoice up on the screen and let you see that I actually paid for this thing because it was, I think, a touch over $50. But I'm gonna get the truck back home. If you like this video, if this helped you in any way, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel as always. All kinds of content coming out for you, and I'll see you guys on the next video.